right, so where am I today? Uh, this is the dryer. You may recall the dryer from It's Making Noise, and it's still making noise, and it's no longer has been making noise, but I realized that this aluminum tube thing is too long. It kind of scratched up the wall here. It's kind of, oh, let's see. What can we see? It's kind of marks. Well, oh, let me see. Yeah, right here. You can see it's kind of black marks. I mean, that's staying there. The problem is it, it when you push this against the wall, it's like this giant tube here. So I'm thinking this doesn't need to be any longer than to connect the machine to the to the uh, outlet pipe here or outlet hose thing. It doesn't need to be like three times as long, right? So if it's basically just like this long, you can take it out. You can come in here. And that's really it. It'll scrunch back up here, right? But it doesn't need to be like two or three times as long as it really is. So we're going to do that today. This is simple. Another fun thing is the outside, there's a little vent cap. It's louvered, right? But mine fell off and blah, blah, blah. I actually, that was the easiest fix. I did that yesterday. I took it off, put the new one on, no screws, no caulking. Even it just snapped perfectly in there. That was very simple. But I thought, well, that's pretty simple. This should be probably very simple. So let's try, okay? Let's see if we can... Well, there's a lot of... Uh... Oh, that's not good. Because of, of the... Uh... Well, let's see here. So we're gonna measure this out. I'm gonna give it a little bit extra here. We can always take a little more off. So... Yeah, that's plenty. So let's mark it somewhere over here. And I do have these snippy things that probably will, because this is this is not just aluminum, there's a harder material here. But let's, once again, just double check. This will kind of fit, you know? Yeah, let's just cut it right here. We can cut into the aluminum right here with just normal scissors. And uh, let's expand this here. Oh, that's, well, that's kind of tough anyways, but there we go. Snip, snip, snip. And I even checked the inside of it. It's not that dirty. You know, it's a little bit... We'll see it when we take it out, but there doesn't seem to be that much buildup on these things, so. All right, so let's snip this right here. One, two, and, okay. Was there a snip there? Almost. One, two, and, there we go, perfect. Normal scissors are just not going to do that, so, so look at that. Well, that's pretty good. So there is some stuff in here, but it's not that bad, you know. It's not coated in it, so it's really not a fire hazard. And especially now that, that it's less, right, this should, should definitely, no, this is perfect, this is a good height. Now, this is the tricky part. You can use, I can use this kind of, what is this, flex fix thing. It's for, yeah, it's especially for this. It's used on this side here because it's just the same size. You have to tape it. There is a mechanism here where you have this ring. Now, well, I remember last time it was very difficult to put this on. Okay, I'm going to have to vacuum up all this mess here. Well, let's see here. There we go. Uh, yeah, if it doesn't work, then we can, and there's no holes, I, I tested this on, I, I unplugged it, but when it was on, it was really working very well. There were no holes anywhere. It's a pretty tough aluminum, it's not, uh, you know, that thin. Anyway, so we have to kind of expand this ring. Oh boy. Maybe like the second one or something. That's the easy part. All right? Well, let's also line this up properly so it's okay. 
Oh, it's not too bad at all. No, that's really good. Should move it a little bit like this. Ow. Okay, well that's hopefully good. So yeah, we definitely did not take 20 minutes to do this, uh, and we definitely didn't have to cut anything out. Oh boy. I don't know, there might have to be a little bit of a tape there. Hmm. I will plug this in and we'll see um, if there's any leaks, especially from here. But if you twist it on, that should be pretty good. So let's plug this in. All right. And let's set it to fluff, no heat. And we'll be able to see. There we go. That, that should. Oh, perfect. turns on. That's always a good sign. I'm not feeling any air, which is very good. So once we push this in, it shouldn't be that bad of a... It has a little bit of a give here. Right? But it's considerably shorter. It's about half as long. Now it gets a little bigger when it uh, when you're blowing air in it, but I'm not feeling anything, and there's lots of uh, things there. Yeah. Good. And that has held very strong there. Well, I think that's it. We'll clean this up, and uh, yeah.